Hey everybody, I'm going to take a look in and see what's going on with your love life. Just any, whatever the cards want to say, whatever story wants to come out here. Um, if you're following me and you follow my regular um, monthly Zodiac readings that I do twice a month, it, it's possible that that is your story, but that this isn't your story. So just keep this in mind that this isn't going to resonate for everybody. This is just going to be for a specific group of people. Usually I try to make the title specific so that it kind of lets you know whether this is your story or not. But, you know, if it's not resonating, it just means it's not your story. And just stick around for the, the regular Zodiac readings that I do. That might be your story instead. But let's see what the cards have to say. Any donations are appreciated too. My PayPal link is right below. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. I will also be doing the Zodiac readings on the um, first. Should be on the first or the second at latest. Let me put these up just a little bit so you guys can see. Playing around with different camera angles here. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Okay. We have the star. So this is something that you've been working on manifesting, something that you've been really, um, maybe, maybe you're single and you're really putting the intention into love or maybe you're just trying to call back, you, you know, your energy from your exes. You're just really trying to manifest love and abundance in your life. And it's, it's a confirmation that your prayers are being heard, that, this intention you put in the universe, it is being heard, it is being reciprocated, you know, because we've got the Three of Cups right after um, Celebration and the King of Cups. So you've got some good times coming up ahead. The Sun, this is a really good reading so far. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Nine of Wands reversed, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Okay, you got lots of good energy here. Can I get two more clarifier cards? Eight of Wands, fast movement. Something's in, is gonna come in pretty quickly for you. I think it's regarding love, love, and also finances too, because we've got the Six of Pentacles here also. Can you guys see that? Okay. Let me straighten this out for you a little bit. For some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, this might be a water sign that's you might or might be the male or the person could be female and male energy. Whoever's in the masculine energy might be a water sign and then um you might be a fire sign. Or it could just mean that you're coming into this fire energy, or you're coming in if you're male or if you're masculine energy, you're coming into this um king of cups energy or you're getting more in touch with your emotions you're becoming more vulnerable and if you're a female or if you're just in that feminine energy then you're you're coming into your power you know you see this charm this charisma this like just abundance it's like look how powerful she is look how confident she is and same with the masculine here in this in this case like look he's just he's like strong but he's he's sensitive he's vulnerable and he's open too it's like the best of both worlds and, um, you know, one of these people is your partner here that, that's, that you're manifesting. So this is, oh my God, this is an amazing read. Looking at all these cards, it's like, there's no bad cards here. Even the nine of wands upright would mean that you have to be strong and there's one final battle ahead. You know, you have to just be resilient. You're almost there, but it's like, it's like reversed. And then just looking at this spread, the way I'm reading it, it's like, it's like the battles are finally over, <laughs> you know? Like if it was upright, it would be saying like there's one final battle. It's like you're just, you're almost there. Um, you have to stay strong, you know, look at this kind of energy. It's like kind of strict, kind of serious, kind of having to be on guard. But it's like, it's reversed. It's like, no, this is really it. Like you're good, you know. Like for, for those of you, if this is your spread, it's like you finally manifested something here. There is a warning though, not to run when it comes in because I feel like whoever this is for, I feel like you're so used to everything being a battle for you that when this does come in, it's almost like you're going to want to run. Like you're not going to believe this could be real. And it's it's all coming in at once. With the star, I feel like you've you've been manifesting. You've been manifesting for a while 
And it's almost like it's just going to come flooding in all at once. Like maybe there was something that was blocking you and maybe that block has just been removed or the block is currently being removed by your guides. Like maybe, um, you know, your, your higher self, um, I just sense like divine intervention, like your higher self or your spirit guides just stepped in and removed someone that was toxic or they removed, they're removing a toxic pattern of thinking that you had, or they're removing some sort of block that you had. Maybe for some of you, you've just gotten chakra clearing done, something like that. There's just some kind of block that you had that the divine just stepped in and either removed for you or they, they pushed you to go ahead and get that removed. And it's just going to be like a flood coming in is what I, I get. It's really good energy here. It's it's like you've been manifesting this, like you've been putting that intention into the universe that you want true love, that you want money, that you want success with your career, that you want, um, you know, to buy a house, to, to do this, to do that. Like you've been putting that, you know, planting these seeds, putting that intention into the universe. And I think for a while you felt really hopeless because you're like, why... Why is this not manifesting for me? Why am I doing all this? Why am I putting all this work and this energy into manifesting this abundance in my life? And I still don't see any physical evidence of this abundance. Like, where is it? What is this all for? And I think it was just that block. Like those manifestations were just, it's like they were all waiting to, to you know, just come through and um, manifest in the physical. But there was just that one little block. And I think that block has just been removed or it's currently being removed. And I think that you know what this block is. I think for some of you, it might have been a person that was holding you back or like a living situation that was holding you back. Or it could even be something non-physical, like a thought pattern or a behavior or a chakra blocks. There's just something. So it's like, that's why you weren't seeing um, your dreams manifest. That's why it's like you put all that energy and you just didn't know why it wasn't manifesting. And now it's like the floodgates are just open and it's just, it's coming in all at once. With the three of cups here, you know, we have celebration. It's like, look at this. It's like, a, see this? It could be a cat person too, that either you or the person you're manifesting or a bunny person. <laughs> But see this, it's like a little, it's like creativity, abundance. Um, see, she's having like a little a tea party. She's, oops. You know, you see this energy. It's just, it's celebration. It's joy. It's um, being social again, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone, getting out of hermit mode. And you're manifesting, you're either manifesting a king of cups or you're manifesting a queen of wands. So it's whatever, whatever your, your preferred sex is. Um, so you're either manifesting this man who's emotionally available and loving and empathetic and, um, who listens to you, but, you know, at the same time is, is balanced and grounded, or you're manifesting this woman, this queen of wands who is, you know, powerful and, and charming and passionate and strong and independent you know, and you just, you have all this good energy coming in all at once. You know, the sun, again, that's about moving forward, looking towards your future, moving away from your past, moving away from the toxic people that have held you back. Six of Pentacles, you know, again, wealth, generosity, abundance. This could be good karma for, oop, sorry, fairy friend. This could be good karma for some of you too, because the Six of Pentacles, it's all about, um, it's all about like giving and receiving. It's, it's as for some of you, I feel like this is your good karma coming back to you. Like you put all this good energy and all this good intention into the universe, you know, all your prayers, maybe all the things that you've done to help other people over the years that maybe you just weren't reciprocated. Like you helped people financially or you were always like a, a shoulder to cry on, or you were always, you know, emotionally available for people. You always tried to help people. You always tried to see the best in people. And maybe it just got you heartbroken time and time again. And now it's like all that love that you've given away, all that, that good energy, that good intention for other people that you've given away, um, is now being returned back to you. Like all this good karma is coming your way. This is a really good reading with the eight of wands. It's coming in quick. This is, this is passion. This is abundance. And for some of you, I think that for some of you, I think you're not even going to know what to do with it. You know, two of pentacles, it's like trying to find a balance. It's like your manifestation. That's kind of the warning here that I think your guides wanted me to tell you. It's like you've been manifesting this. And I almost feel like when it comes in, you're not going to know how to balance it. For some of you, I feel like you've been manifesting love 
And once this block is removed, you're going to have multiple people coming your way. Like it's not just going to, it's going to be a new person for one thing, somebody who's not your usual, maybe not your usual type, or they're just, they're not emotionally, they're, they're emotionally available. Whereas people from your past, I think were emotionally unavailable. I think that this new King of Cups or this new Queen of Wands is going to be emotionally available, open, um, empathetic, down to earth, reciprocate your energy. So you're manifesting with this star energy you've been putting out into the universe, you're manifesting this new person. But I think that you, again, I think you put so much energy over the years into manifesting love and manifesting money and these things that it's just going to come pouring in. And so I think that you might have some exes coming back around as well. And so there's that kind of warning, like, because a lot of you, I mean, a lot of your exes are like not that great, you know? I mean, and I'm always going to tell you what the story is. Like, I always try to tell you guys, um, like what's going on with your exes. Cause I know that you want to know, but that doesn't mean that I'm encouraging you to go for that. I'm just letting you know what the story is. Cause that's how, that's how I like my readings done too. Like I like to know what's going on and I like to make my own decisions. You know what I mean? Like I'll give you guys advice here and there too, but I'm also going to let you know what the situation is so that you can make those decisions. You know, it's your path. It's your destiny. It's, it's, you make those choices. Um, for me personally, I would not want the ex. I would want this new person. This new person is much more, see this couple, this is like a power couple. This is two empathetic, supportive people who, who just, you know, they support each other. They love each other. They, they balance each other out yin and yang. This is a much better relationship. This is much more stable. This is much more solid and long-term than the wish washy exes are, you know? Um, and that doesn't mean that every single viewer on my page has a crappy ex, but a lot of you do, you know, from, from channeling you guys and from just that energy I picked up, a lot of you do. And so, you know, like I said, with all this energy you've been putting in towards manifesting love, you might just have love pouring in all at once. So yes, you might have met the new person or you might be meeting the new person soon and then also have these exes coming back around out of nowhere because they're they're feeling your energy shift. They're feeling that you're in your power now. They're they're feeling a shift and all this, you know, this is all manifesting in the physical now. So so just be prepared for that. You know, be prepared for for exes kind of coming back out of nowhere. Um I personally wouldn't go for the ex though, because again, this is this new love is gonna be a lot better for most of you, not for all of you. For some, this could be renewed love. This could be someone coming back around that's changed their ways. But for most of you, I think this is actually a new person that you're going to meet or that you've just met. But um, anyway, this is moving fast too. Again, just kind of come in like a flood and you're going to have to find that balance. You know, you're going to have to really figure it out because I think that it's almost been just a dream for you. Like it hasn't manifested and you've kind of gotten used to being alone. You've gotten used to these dreams not manifesting. And when it does, when it is right in front of your face, I think it's going to scare you a little bit. It's like you want it. I mean, you've been manifesting it, but it's like when you actually have it, part of you might not know what to do with it. It's like you might be in a little bit of a shock where you're just like, like it's really here. It's just, just like that. Like you just go to the store and you just meet someone just like that. Or you, you know, your friend messages you and says, hey, I want to introduce you to my friend. Do you want to go on a double date or a blind date? And you're like, just like that. Like you're single and then all of a sudden it's just like you have all this love, you know? Or you're, you know, you're with someone and then all of a sudden you have all these different potential partners coming at you that you just didn't expect. And there might be a little bit of a desire to run away to self-sabotage because you're really leveling up and it might freak you out a little bit at first. It might be a little intimidating for some of you where you're just going to be like, like what? <laughs> like, like this is mine now? This is, are you sure this is mine? There's no catch? It's not you don't have to wait anymore. Like there's, it's not a constant hamster wheel. Like this is really just for me finally, like this money, this love, this, all the things I've been praying for. It's like, you're going to be kind of shocked. And the warning is just not to self-sabotage. Cause it's like, you have been planting the seeds. It's, it's why you're getting this now. It's like, you've been working towards this, but, um, but yeah, it's like, make sure you don't fall back into old patterns. It's like, cause I think that, I mean, you want this, but when it comes in, I just think it might freak you out a little bit because it's like, if you've been with a lot of emotionally unavailable partners and then it's like in the back of your head, you're always dreaming like, you know, I'm going to meet someone who's going to love me, who's, who's going to, you know, be there for me. Like I'm going to do it. And then like when you finally do, it might just scare you a little bit because you're not used to that energy. 
you know, it was like, you're going to have someone where it's like, you're going to have these, these moments where you just lie in bed, just talking, just staring into each other's eyes. Like you're going to know a whole new level of vulnerability and a whole new level of just raw emotion with this person, with this connection. It's going to be very deep, very sensitive, very romantic, very emotional. Um, and so some of you, some of you are already there where you are emotionally available to, enough to do this, but some of you are not as emotionally available as you think you are. And maybe you were kind of mirroring that in your partners where it's like they were matching your emotional unavailability, but you didn't even realize it. And this new person is like, it's such a deep relationship. It's going to make you come face to face with that. You know what I mean? Where it's like, they're just going to be there and you're not going to get it. You're not going to understand why this person just wants to be around you all the time. Why they don't want anything in exchange. Like your trust, this person's going to trigger your trust issues and your fears and insecurities because you're going to be like, how could something this good be real? Like how, why would they want me? Like why, why would it be that easy? Why would the universe let it be that easy for me? Like there's going to be that fear. And so it's just a warning here. You know, you always want to be cautious when you meet someone new and you always want to like look for the red flags, but it's just a warning not to sabotage it. Don't run from it just because you're not used to it. You know what I mean? Don't question this person. Don't test them and try to look for the bad in them. Don't don't push them away when they haven't given you a good reason to push them away. You know what I mean? There's just that warning. Don't sabotage this because whoever this is for, if this is your reading, this is like a once in a lifetime kind of love. This is a life partner here. And you don't get very many of those. So it's just saying, don't mess this up. You know, you're going to be scared. You're going to be insecure, but be, get out of your head. Don't get stuck in your head and start sabotaging this. Really be mindful of this person's energy, you know, match their energy. If they're trying to see you, then, then see them right back. You know, don't, don't create problems that aren't there. Don't, don't test them and don't sabotage it. Cause you're going to, you're going to regret it. It's, it's not opportunities like this don't come around that often. So you really want to be careful when this comes in that you actually are open to this, you know what I mean? That you do this right. Um, so yeah, the son of swords, it's like, it's about running. It's about dishonesty, dishonesty games, um, you know, fear, self-sabotage. So it's kind of saying, don't get in that seven of swords energy, you know, rise above that because you're leveling up in multiple areas. It's not just love. It's also finances too, where you're going to have a lot of money coming in this year, I believe. And so it's kind of saying like, don't, don't blow that money and don't like feel like you don't deserve it. Like if you're offered like a manager position or like a promotion, like accept it, like know that you deserve this, know that you worked for that. Um, cause your guides want to bring you this abundance in all areas of your life. It's just a question of whether you're going to accept it and align with it and realize that you deserve it. Or if you're going to push it away, um, you know, cause we're like nine of wands, it's like, it's reversed. So it's like, there's not even a battle anymore. There's not even a battle. The only battle really for, for those, if this is your reading, the only battle would really be like, like, it's like saying, don't think everything is a battle. Like you're so used to everything being a battle towards you know constantly being that like hamster wheel it's like one thing after another just struggle 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 that when you do have all this abundance you might you might just be like well what's next like what battle do we have to fight next like what do I have to do to keep this like you're not going to understand that it could just be this simple that you could just have love and have money and just have a good life so it's like realize that realize there's no, there's no there's no major battles left like you're there you're there the only battles that from this point on, the only battles are the ones that you create yourself from self-sabotaging this. If you decide to go that route, you know, because like if you push this person away, then, yeah, there is going to be a battle because your guides want you with this person like this is your true love. And so, yeah, if you sabotage it, then, yeah, you're going to create problems that aren't there. And then there is going to be a battle. There is going to be these these issues, you know, so it's like saying don't create issues because you have this clear path ahead. So are you going to take it? Are you going to walk down that path? Nine of Pentacles, good harvest, reward for good work. You know, like you're, you're there, you're, you're there. Like you, this is physically manifesting now, you know? Um, and you're, again, again, I think you're leveling up so much when it comes to money, to love, to, to everything in your life that you might, you might almost be like, 
Like, it's just going to be hard not to question it, you know, how quickly it's going to come in too. It's just going to like overwhelm you a little bit, I think. So yeah, that's, that's where you guys are at, you know. Um, you might have some psychic abilities that are going to come pouring in too that you might not expect. So there's that as well. There's that energy. It's like you just might, you're leveling up in all areas of your life. And there might be this part of you that wants to cling and stay low and, and hold on to the familiar, even if the familiar is toxic. So the message here is to really step out of your comfort zone and, ex and align with these blessings that the universe wants to bring you and accept these blessings that the universe is trying to bring you and realize that this true love is real. Don't, again, you always want to be cautious when you meet someone, but like, don't create problems that aren't there. Don't sabotage it. Don't push them away for no reason. Like really match their energy, really get into alignment with their energy, you know, same with money. It's like, you just, you have all these blessings coming in and you've worked for this. So accept it. You deserve it. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you want me to look further into your situation, I can, I can look into this person or this person specifically, um, tap into their energy more, see what they're about, see what this connection looks like for you. Um, I can also look into your ex or whatever you want me to look into really. Uh, my prices right now are $40 for a 30 plus minute video reading. I think in February, I'm probably going to go up to $50 for readings and I'm probably just going to stay at $50. Like I'm not, I don't think I'm going to, um, raise the prices anymore after that. At least I'm not planning on it. So, um, yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. And my email is below, uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks.